So up here in the top left position of Pride of Alteris, we have Solar. And his opponent down here in the bottom side, representing the blue corner. He is classic. Pride of All Terrace, one of the newer maps in the pool. So uh, the players have had a little bit of a chance to play it out so far. But uh, a couple things we can kind of keep in mind about it is that it's a very large map. Uh, it also has that gold base in the center, which can assist the Zerg a little bit more uh, as long as he does get that creep spread um, mining out. Um, it's going to be his best way to kind of take advantage of that middle ground. Uh, game music a bit loud. Okay, I will let them know. Yeah, I will let them know, but so far what we're seeing here is nothing too crazy. Uh, Solar does get that natural hatch expansion down. Just being a little bit annoying here is classic in the uh, main base. Just doing what he can to kind of prevent the drones from getting some mining in. And I don't really see these guys being a too aggressive early on in the tournament. They definitely do want to kind of save a lot of their crazy strategies for later on. It honestly kind of sucks that they're playing each other so early because I don't think this is double elimination. And I'm lying, it's totally double elimination. But uh, still, you never want to go to the loser's bracket this early because as time goes on, as the bracket goes further, you're just going to have a lot more difficulties. Um, a lot more difficulties getting through as the better and better players drop down. Now we do see Classic going for a Stargate play, trying to take advantage of the large map. Just wants to get something that can be early harassment as well as just a little bit of concerted damage in this first Oracle. As the Adept just going to fake a shade, catches in sight of that third base and now is going to get on home with a little scratch on the shields. So though, just feeling very confident in his droning right now. He doesn't feel the need to get any additional units as he is just getting a good scout of Classic's main base right now with that Overlord coming in. So he's seen the Oracle and all he has to do right now is drop a couple of uh, Spore Crawlers and he should be perfectly good to go. Looks like behind this Solar is going to, or Classic rather, is going to go straight into the uh, Void Ray play. So a little bit of a blast from the nearby pass. As we'll have to see how hard he is going to dedicate to the Void Ray play. Okay, so he's not going to commit too hard to it. I kind of agree with that. Instead, just going to go straight up to Twilight Council Forge. Behind this, we do see Solar just trying to put on a little bit of pressure before getting deflected. And honestly, this is a pretty a level mid-game here. Both players sitting around on three bases. But I think Solar might think that he's going a little bit harder on the board race and might be looking to just go for a big push with Roaches. Yeah, 
as that uh, Twilight Council finishes up, he's going to go straight into Blink Play. The Queen's doing what they can to get this Creep Tumor spread. But this is where the largeness of the map uh, kind of starts to take effect. You can kind of see how difficult it is for those Queens to uh, get that purple carpet uh, further out. Uh, we do see as well these links just kind of rotating in and out looking for any sort of damage that they can get while also just kind of keeping classic on his side of the map. Behind this, it actually looks like Classic wants to be aggressive. He's got quite a bit of energy building up in these sentries. Uh, we don't see any immortals to join the fray, but that warp prism does kind of tell me that we might be seeing him do a bit of a push out here relatively soon. Oh no, Solar is not paying attention, and there you have it. A huge stasis trap going to go down and absolutely decimates Solar's economy for just a little bit longer. Trying to take advantage of that fourth base in the gold. Unfortunately, he is not going to be able to find anything with that as classic. Now just looking to put on a little bit of pressure. He doesn't want to overextend up that ramp, especially since he doesn't have any sort of detection for the creep right now. So he should be just kind of content to keep Solar off the low ground, off that base. And honestly, if he can keep control of that Zelnaga Watchtower, he should be feeling pretty good as well. Nice little blink forward. Gonna do what he can. And even a couple of very nice pickoffs here. There's still a bit of force field energy left. Just trying to deny Solar the good engagement that he needs. This concave, though, for Solar is really doing wonders for making sure that he has enough surface area. And now the sentries are starting to run low, but the stalker count is getting higher and higher. Classic. Only about 10 army supply behind, but he does have to get out of there before a defender's advantage overwhelms him. So now Classic, he's keeping the pressure up. He just has to continuously trade here because he doesn't really have any follow-up to this. It's just pure gateway forces. But behind this, Solar is putting a timer on him with the Lurker Den, with the plus two, and with that Hive coming on in. So Classic really has to make a move and he really has to get, he really has to get some damage done. Game audio a little bit too high. Okay, I will let them know. I'll let production know. I can do this. There we go. That should do it. But uh, now Solar trying to clean this up, but Classic's just really on top of his blinks right now. He is not losing these stalkers. And the uh, the route Roach count, Ravager count is starting to falter. Uh, Solar within about 10 supply, and now his supply actually plummets behind this. At this point, he's pretty much got to sacrifice this low ground base. Oh, that is a lot of overlords. That is a juicy pickoff if Classic wants to go for it. Now it's 30 stalkers to only 18 roaches here. Gonna dive right on top of the lurker den. Uh, but uh, fighting a little bit of a choke point. So not all the stalkers are being active, but getting rid of that lurker den was super important for him. Takes one of the biles to the face as the stalkers still trying to force their way in. This is a really scrappy engagement, but now Classic feels good enough to just hop on in. And GG is called. And so now Classic is going to get that first little pro toss scout. I think once again, he is going to want to look to be aggressive on Curious Minds, especially. Uh, just because eh, 
it's one of those maps where you get that tension once you stop uh, once you have to expand to those low grounds because of their distance from the natural so it's really difficult to defend so that's why you kind of want to focus on putting on that aggression as you try and take your third base but now we do see he gets a little bit of a scout confirms that this isn't anything like a 12 pool or anything crazy so he should be feeling pretty good with his base on location and yeah nothing yeah nothing really much to say about this point as uh i think i think he'll go into kind of the same thing maybe uh maybe stargate into fast uh, fast twilight council forge again i don't think he'll necessarily go straight into blink stalkers because solar i think will be a lot more ready for it this time but i am still expecting some semblance of aggression Thing these players got to look out for as well is just uh, taking the cell naga watchtowers we do see that vision coming in of four solar he sees the fact that it's stargate once again i don't know if he clicked on it though which is going to be pretty darn sad if he if he uh doesn't know exactly what it is but it's going to go straight into void ray once again i i i, I don't see him making any more than this Instead, I think he'll just go straight into Oracle, especially now that Solar has caught wind of what's going on. Yeah, that, that Overlord is not going to be too long for this world. Twilight Council coming right back down. Solar still kind of droning up a little bit. He will need plenty of economy as he is starting to fall behind. Um, as he's, uh, he's building a ton of queens, maybe expecting more void rays than there are. But again, this is looking like a lot of the same for classic. Oh, it does come in, gets a couple of quick cheeky kills. A spore crawler does have to go down to save one of those drones but so far it looks like the only thing classic uh, has lost is a cancel or two as this time it's going to be a charge slot all in oh my goodness this is terrifying to deal with especially if solar doesn't get that roach worn down Okay, so he does get the Roach Warren down and is going up to Lair. So that is going to help kind of mitigate some of that damage. Especially since Classic has not built a Forge. So there are going to be no upgrades coming in just yet. But seven additional gateways have been started. <laughs> this is going to be really fun to see. But again, Classic is putting a really big timer on himself. He's got to get do damage done with this before Solar really starts to overwhelm him. First couple of Zealots heading up the left. Another strike force heading up the right. A little bit of a two-pronged pincer maneuver. Actually, Classic, he's got to bring them together. I don't think he should uh, like fight divided. 
But there we go. Solar retreats everything up to the high ground. All the drones have been pulled, but that is going to leave him only on one, two bases right now. So already, this is a pretty good start. And now, Solar is now having to fight on multiple fronts. He's got to deal with the warpin on the high ground. Uh, he did leave the wall open here, but Classic not able to extend into it. Behind this, I do like how Classic is kind of transitioning a little bit. He's got those Immortals coming on in, and he is droning, uh, probing up his third base. Because he knows he's already ahead. He knows he doesn't have to overextend anymore. In fact, he doesn't have to actually attack in. He can sit back, uh, drop some more Immortals, and then go again in another minute or so with that extra firepower as Solar is looking pretty desperate to get up to Hive Tech here with that infestation pit. Yeah, Solar looking to do anything with this roach put with these roaches, but just not able to find an angle. Oh no, I think those queens are a little bit far out of position, but I do think he's did send the roaches home just so he doesn't lose too much. But uh, Twilight Council, or uh, excuse me, Templar Archives coming up behind this. So he's going to have all the tools really available to him. In terms of income, yeah, 26 to 19. Looking pretty good. That's, uh, you know, whenever I see swarm hosts, I always wonder if uh, they've just accidentally rebound their key to something that they were hoping for. Like he's probably expecting 14, 15 fun uh, fungal growths with the infestors. But uh, it looks like he is actually doing it on purpose here, getting those swarm hosts because he's really hoping that there's not too much splash damage to contend with them. Now, granted, uh, granted, um, there are going to be Archons on the field, but they won't really be in high enough numbers. So here we go. Going to just dive right on top of them. They do trigger a stasis trap. So they're not actually all fighting together. So that was a first wave failure. And now Solar is has to wait for them to recharge. Classic going to take full advantage of that time as he's just going to dive right onto the creep. The reinforcements coming up from the top. Bio's going to go down, but they are not going to hit anything of value. And the Swarm Host actually getting caught in a corner here, so they will be completely trounced by the side blades. The Immortals as well just kind of cleaning up the little, the few Locusts that managed to get off, but Classic got to be careful not to fully overextend here. He needs to keep the Zealots in front so that the Roaches don't get on top of those Immortals. Does take a Bile to the head there, so that Immortal not living up to his name. At the end of the day, is it going to be enough? Only six more Roaches on the production tab. And if the Circus is in town as the juggling has started. Yeah, there's just not really a lot here for uh, for Solar. I think another big warping of Zealots might actually do it. But, uh, he's still going to fight his heart out because Classic is on a relatively low supply of his own. Yeah, Classic actually does have to retreat here. He sent the Prism home, which is kind of interesting. But yeah. There you have it, GG is called, and Classic will take his first series of the day.